So let's say we're going to start with a simple 2D logo. So we can go to the prompt box at the bottom over here. And let's say we want to do a logo of Gorilla looking to the side. Before you can click generate, you can choose a style. There is several styles and we're going to be adding more every few weeks. So I'm going to keep it at pictorial for now. And I'm going to click generate. And we got these four results looking at them you can see a few of them has uh, some gradients or maybe some extra details and usually logos especially pictorial style logos they are super minimalist and they have only the necessary details which is an issue with a lot of ai uh, image generators whenever you try to do a logo you get something that looks more like an illustration than a logo and to fix that we added this uh, logo details slider and it's set to zero as a default but if you drag it back to minus one you're gonna get less details and if you bracket and if you drag it all the way back to minus three you're gonna get fewer uh, details doing the opposite going to one two or three is gonna give you extra details than what you would normally get at zero so I'm gonna click on uh, this image and click reuse settings this way we know for sure that we're using the same seed and you can see it's the freeze icon here is clicked so let's hide advanced settings for now let's drag the details back to minus one and let's click generate and you can see that the same logos are rendered again with fewer details we can also see that the uh, gradients are gone and the lines are simpler so I really like this logo and I made a direct comparison between the original one and this is at details minus one. So I pushed it to details minus two and it got this result, which I think it's pretty much ready to go. This is a logo that I could see uh, being used by a brand or beat on a t-shirt. So, so at this point I can just convert it into a vector file. So all I need to do is click on this vectorize button and it's going to take a few seconds before it downloads a vector. Uh, version of this uh, exact logo so you can see that now we got an svg file downloaded we can just open it in illustrator or just view it here uh, in browser and no matter how close you zoom in it will always be sharp uh, since it's a vector file now after we created a logo and we lower the details on it we can actually take it in the other direction and turn it into a 3d illustration and to do that, all we need to do is just click on the logo and click on this button, use as 3D inspiration. What this does is it loads the image here and it selects 3D for you. So for this image, in order to turn it into a 3D illustration, uh, we need to play around with these settings. So for image influence, it's how much the final image is gonna be influenced by the input image. And for this, I'm going to set it to 5. 5 is going to give us a result that looks really close to the input image. And 1 is going to give us a result that looks pretty different from the input image. The same goes for use image colors. If you want the image, if you want the 3D illustration to be influenced by the colors, you can click yes or uh, no. For me, I want to keep it yes. And creative freedom is how much freedom you want to give the AI in recreating this image as a 3d illustration i'm gonna choose five as well now going down here we can see that we got edge detection and with edge detection is is going to show you how the ai sees this image and what edges are being detected you can change the edge detection level over here so you can see here we got less edges being detected at three but if we click at one it's going to take a second to render these edges and if you click on it you can see that the edges are thicker and more visible. So you can pick uh, whatever edges that you think fit your design better. Uh, for now, I'm gonna pick thick outline and I'm gonna bring back the details slider back to zero. Now, before I click generate, I just wanna change the prompt a little bit. So I'm gonna write something like gorilla wearing suit, comma, black background. And I'm gonna click generate. These are the results we got from the 3D illustration. So clicking on them, you can see it followed the prompt. It added um, a suit, a black suit to the gorilla. And we can see different ways uh, it kind of treated this image. And this one kind of added some colors. And I did a couple more images with the 3D uh, style turned on. 
you can see that uh, it added some color and shadows uh, to it. Even this one went a little bit artsy slash abstract, uh, but you can see that uh, just from a simple prompt, we were able to get a 2D logo that's super usable in the vector format, and we were able to do a 3D illustration of the same logo that can be used as a branding image or for social media, or just if you're trying to design a logo for your client, you can just show them uh, different ways you can use uh, the logo.